Hey, what's up guys? DJ Lefave here with Denville Radio with another super, super tip for you today. Uh, we've got some new technology out there. We now have Facebook Rooms. So what do we want to do? We want to DJ on them. Or you want to um, do some karaoke on them. <clears throat> or you just want to do OBS, something with OBS on them. I'm going to show you all of that and more during this, uh, this tutorial. We're going to walk through how to set up a Facebook Room how to integrate it with OBS, and then from there, basically all of your other options in the past are still going to be there uh, through the use of a virtual audio cable. Um, if you guys haven't already, uh, subscribe, please. It's uh, it helps me out. You know, I'm trying to get those those viewers up and uh, the subscriptions up. And then, uh, hey, I can't DJ right now in public, but maybe I can make a buck or two off of, off of YouTube. So just click that subscribe, and and I appreciate it. And uh, here we go. So. If you've got the new feature on Facebook, it's Facebook Rooms. It's basically this thing where you can get up to 50 of your friends in one spot, listening to stuff, hanging out, having a good time. So how do we do it? Well, over here, I'm going to go on Facebook. And then in Facebook right now, they have this thing right underneath my status bar that says create a room. So we're going to create a room. I'm going to click on the create a room button. And uh, there goes the create a room uh, pop up comes up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on room activity. And right now we're going to call this one a dance party. Where'd you go dance party? Ah, my window's got to be bigger. There we go. We're a little bit larger there. Okay. Click on dance party and then who's invited. So you can invite, um, you can invite a, all of your friends, all of your friends can see it, or you can send it to a specific amount of people. So I'm going to just invite one person. I'm going to bring this over here so you don't have to see who I'm inviting. You click on who inviting specific people and invite friends. Okay, so now I am inviting my one friend. That's all I have is one friend and the start times now. We're going to click next. And uh, so now that the room is set up, um, for this purposes, I have it set up to only me for privacy, uh, that people can see the posts. So you can make it public, friends, friends accept, specific friends, only me. We'll leave it to only me right now. I'm the only one who can see this post. So I'm just going to write test post. Okay. So we've got that. No, not you, sir. Not you. We don't need my third grade teacher up here. Okay. So now I'm going to hit post. Okay. So now, now my room is live. So I'm going to join my room by clicking on join. So what's going to happen is it's going to, um, you click join as, as me, right? Click that. And I had a whole bunch of problems trying to go with straight up virtual cam into here to start off with. So here's what I'm going to recommend to you. My, my most valuable tip of the day, if you want to use OBS virtual cam, don't have it open yet. Don't have any other webcams enabled or just have your regular webcam set up and don't even have OBS open yet. So you get into the room. Now, when you are in the room, you can bring your virtual cam in, but you can't do it the other way around. It, it freezes up on you right now, as of now, so it won't let it go. So right now our room is up. It, it is right there and chilling. So I'm going to move Facebook out of the way. We don't need that right now. I'm going to bring the meeting thing over here. Okay. So we've got our room set up. Check. Now let's, uh, let's start this off with DJing first. Okay. DJing first. We're going to use virtual DJ as the example right here. This is the example. So let's get our audio figured out first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've already got it open. All right. In the top right, you click the little gear box and you go to the settings. In the settings, now you're going to click on audio and then do your master output as virtual audio cable. I've showed you many different tutorials before how to get a virtual audio cable. If you're first time tuning in, long time, uh, long time wanted to play this music, uh, go to vb-audio.com and then search around for the virtual audio cables. They're free and they are awesome. So I'm going to set my master output as a virtual audio cable and I'm going to hit apply. Okay. So now it's applied. We can close this out. So that means that all of my output from virtual DJ right now is going out on a virtual audio cable. Come back into your, your rooms, your Facebook rooms. Right now you're going to click on the gearbox and then I'm going to select my microphone, my microphone as that same virtual audio cable, which is B. Where's B? Virtual audio cable, A, B, line B, VB audio cable, B. Perfect. So now this little area right there 
is where it's kind of we're showing where your audio is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a track from Virtual DJ, and you're going to start seeing that move. All right, you see that bumping up and down? It's all right here underneath my video feed. That is the sound coming in. Now, I'll always recommend this to you that you can, um, if you want to take your master volume in Virtual DJ and turn it down a little bit, that may help with... Um, with sounds that are a little bit too loud coming over there but you see that now you have your beats coming through your music is coming through and it is tied to your Facebook room so that's the first way to get music from an application into Facebook rooms so now that we have that set up that's great but you know if you're just gonna go with a, a webcam video of your DJing that's fine but if you wanna really spice it up a little bit um, let's spice it up okay uh, so uh, what we're gonna do now is bring that down uh, virtual DJ has some great stuff so we're gonna click on video and I'm going to click on that box and now I've got this shader that's kind of just going with the beat right we're going with the beat shaders rocking everything's cool right there uh, beat boom 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 so we come into OBS and then in OBS I'm going to add a new source and the new source that we're gonna add is going to be a window capture and we are going to cap we're gonna call this VDJ okay and then VDJ is going to pick up the video. I already, already knew about it, right? I already brought it in there. So now you can reshape it so it'll fit. You make that a little bit bigger. Okay, we've got it. We've got good dimensions right now. Our shader is locked in. Everything is looking dandy. So that is what our output from Virtual DJ is. So if you were doing anything in Virtual DJ with Telemedia, Televisuals, or any other customizations, you now have that over into OBS. And why does it need to be in OBS? Because OBS has this awesome tool called Virtual Cam. Virtual Cam is going to basically create a, a webcam source for your Facebook room to take in. So in order to do that, you have to download Virtual Cam plugin for OBS. I'll, uh, I'll try to add a link into the description of this video. So you're going to now go in OBS. We're going to go to Tools, and we're going to go to Virtual Cam. And now the virtual can little window pops up and there you go. So now we can say start that virtual camera, the virtual camera started. Now, because Facebook rooms is, is set for a forward facing camera, you're going to want to click this second button at the top that says horizontal flip. That's going to make it read the right side out. Okay. So now your, your, your camera started OBS is here. You'll notice there's no audio settings in my OBS right now. You don't need them. The, the audio is going to come directly from your system, from your application. So there's no need to send audio to audio to audio. Um, this is going to be the only, only real setting you, you need. Uh, I will recommend that you find a way to add a microphone into your virtual DJ, DJ setup so that way it's mixed down into that virtual audio cable and that way you can talk and play your music at the same time. No different from any regular live stream where you're trying to get your, um, your voice across and out. So now we have audio coming because you can see in, in, um, inside of Facebook Rooms our, our beat is pumping. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on camera up here. I'm going to click the down button. I'm going to go to OBS camera, the first one. Now that sh that switches, you see my camera feed now is the shader. It is is the output from OBS. So you see it right there. It's uh, coming in and it, it's moving along. There we go. So it uh, looks to be a little bit of a lag, which is surprising. I haven't seen that yet today. Um, no, that, that's straight on. Okay, so now... As you can see, you have the audio coming from Virtual DJ. It's pumping in here, and now you have your video. Now, whether you want to add anything else to that video, completely up to you. If you want to, you know, any other normal as you would DJ your set. Right now, it's just shaders. Um, I know some people have gotten a kick out of this before, so we can uh, we can add the uh, Captain America and the Hulk dancing, which is simply under the samplers. I have another YouTube video out there showing you how you can download these guys and bring them on up. I, I literally have a gajillion of them. So uh, one more. There we go. So now you've got the Hulk dancing. You've got Spider-Man. Spider-Man, the Hulk, bashing it out. And then, um, yeah, so you, you can do a whole bunch of fun stuff. And now you've got that as your video. Now you could take it a step further. And inside of OBS, now that I'm no longer using that one camera, OBS can be the place where you turn your camera on, which is going to be important for our next step. So you just click the add source. 
Um, we're going to add a video capture device. And then this one is going to be meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one am I using here? Okay, so we're going to use this next camera right here, which is the HD Pro. Pro, Pro oh my, my eyes are going, man. My eyes are going. Um, so there we go. So now I have a camera over here. So you can set up your filters, you can do a green screen, whatever. I'm, I'm feeling kind of lazy tonight, so there's, there's no green screen. So this is being set to um, Facebook inside your room. Now, the one thing I will say when you're doing rooms is that technically you can't mute anybody else that I know of yet. Um, if, you, if, if anybody knows that you can do that, that's cool, then you can mute them. But if people are there just to dance and hang out and listen to you, um, then go ahead and ask them politely or put a little uh, marquee box on your video screen saying, uh, please mute, mute, mute your sound so we, everyone can enjoy this. Now, the plus side of using Facebook Rooms, from what I understand, is Facebook is not listening. This means that there technically should not be any issue with you playing your music to up to 50 of your friends who decide to drop in and watch you do your mix. That's what I hear. That's what I understand. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to stop this video right there. Now, it's going to be very simple to switch over to karaoke. Karaoke is fun, right? So I'm going to just minimize this uh, here. Now, doing karaoke and setting up karaoke, you, unless you have another way to mix down your microphone, you're not going to get your microphone over there. That, that it, it just won't happen right now with this setup unless you use something like Virtual DJ where you can um, integrate it and you can mix down your mic into one virtual audio cable. So um, we could definitely do a lesson on that. If you have any questions about that, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out. It is very doable with either Virtual DJ or with the free program, a Voice Meter Banana. So you, you can do it. Can't not do it. It can be done. I'm just not going to show you how to do that right now. That's not the point. So Carafun, small subscription. It's like $9.99 a month, but you get all of these karaoke songs. That $9.99 a month is for non-business personal use only. And because this is karaoke with your friends that you are not charging people for, it is 100% completely legit. So Carafun is awesome. I've got a little subscription. I love it. I, I love just you know singing songs with my family and whatever. So uh, the only thing that you really have to do here is once it opens up, you it, it pops out this video, which obviously is going to be important in OBS. Um, but the other thing you want to do is you want to click on File, Preferences, and then in Preferences is where you're going to go to the, the playback settings. Because again, you have to get everything out onto that virtual audio cable. So then we're going to click audio and then down here on audio output, just make sure the correct virtual audio cable is selected. Okay, so now we have um, this, this, this. So how do we get that video over there? Very simple. We're going to, um, I'll just go update this one. This box I have here, it's going to be another window capture, window capture right here. We're going to select the window as the Carafun uh, dual screen display. Bliggity splat. Bam, we now have Carafun in our screen right there so that's our karaoke so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to pick a song all songs right here let's go go find a good um a good one right now oh who doesn't like dance monkey dance monkey is fantastic so to prove that it is working we're going to load the song up the song is loaded i'm going to open up my settings right here we're going to look right here now i'm going to hit play now as I hit play, you see it start to move. It is it is starting oh, did I not play it? I hit pause. Okay, there we go. So inside of the um in Facebook rooms, we'll we'll turn the, the general up. So now you have the music coming through. The music is coming in, you see that right here. And then down here, your output is the words to the songs. So now you can karaoke it up with all of your friends being the the master karaoke J, karaoke jockey, is that a thing, a KJ, a KJ? Um, anyway, that's it, That that's all you have to do. This little window right here is showing you that your audio is coming in, and then this video is coming from OBS. So um, with everything that I showed you right now, the only thing that I think you would have to pay for is Carafun. Um, I know Virtual DJ Pro costs money, but I think you can get away with using just regular Virtual DJ to spin records uh, without a controller or up to a certain amount of time, however that falls. But this is this is uh, another way of how you can do it. 
So um, very simple. And then again, you could put anything into this video to share it. So let's say you had YouTube and you wanted to, to do YouTube on there, or technically you wanted to watch a movie with your friends. I don't see how you could not not be able to do that on here because you're you're not broadcasting it to the public. It's staying within your friends, but um, I'll keep all the legalities out behind there. So that's it. Again, it's tools. Is your virtual cam inside of OBS? Freezies, freezies, um, Facebook freezies. So many freezies going on. It, it, it's it's making me cold. So there you have it. If you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial and all the other ones I'm having, again, please subscribe, like, subscribe, share. Sharing's a big thing too. Sharing is caring right here. I'm DJ LeFave. This is Denville Radio Tutorials because we're here to help you keep you and your friends entertained now, then, and into, well, then, now, whatever, into the future. It's freaking one o'clock in the morning and I got to work tomorrow, whatever. I love doing this stuff and I love you guys. Keep, keep rocking out. Keep, uh, keep, keep up with all the questions, the likes, the comments. I'm digging it. If you got any other questions or if you want any other tutorials, holla, DJ LeFave, out.